What's up guys? We are here with the one and only Mr. Vince Taylor. Wait a minute. How did I end up training with Vince? Well, I got a YouTube comment saying if I ever thought of making a workout video with Vincent Taylor. It's Sunday and I just finished my workout at Gold's Gym, the Mecca. On my way out, I looked up the TV playing the Mr. Olympia 1991. And there he was, Mr. Vince Taylor, the Terminator. He was battling it out with Lee Haney and Dorian Yates. I took a picture and sent him an IG message saying, where are you at? I want to work out with you. Monday, he replies, I'm in Florida. Let's do it. Tuesday, one of my friends says, I'm off to Florida on Friday, private jet. I go, you got an extra seat? And he goes, I do. The rest is history. Or should I say, my story. We're ready for takeoff. Join me on this trip. It's gonna be awesome. We flying up, we taking off. 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 I'm flying, we winning. I'm flying, we winning. I'm flying, we winning. I'm flying, we winning. We flying up and we taking off. Meal number three. We got salmon. We got guac. And we got spinach. And we're not messing up our nutrition even on 30,000 feet. Bon appetit. Don't cut like a surgery. Black, red, yellow, it's a purr to me. Brazil, no, we get ill. It's all love. You got to chill. My beats bang on a red pill. They got my back. Just landed in Boca Raton. Now we get an Uber to the car rental to get to Kissimmee to see Mr. Vince Taylor, the legend. Training arms tomorrow. Insane. Let's go. In the traffic. We are YouTubers. Say hi to YouTube. What's your name? Uh, Abe. Best Uber in Boca Raton. Oh, thank you. Thank you, my friend. Ask for Abe. It's well, LA it's 8 p.m. Here it's 11 p.m. We'll be back here tomorrow. Early morning. 9 a.m. with Vince Taylor. 6 a.m. in LA. <laughs> After we carve up on some yams, get the pump. Doing some crazy shit. Who does this? Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys? We are here with the one and only Mr. Vince Taylor. Is it five times five Masters, times Mr. Olympia? That's it, baby. How many IVB Pro titles? 22? 22. In counting, you done? I'm done. <laughs> Stick a fork in me. <laughs> I'm done. I see him at Gold's Gym on the screen. I'm watching Mr. Olympia 1991. He got third behind, well, some legends. I mean, come on. Hey, Lee Haney, doing? are you kidding me? <laughs> and Dorian. So you have, how many is that total? 15 Mr. Olympia titles. And he, you almost got him. <laughs> almost got him. <laughs> right? Almost got him. And I'm like, I reached out to him on Instagram and I'm like, dude, I just saw you. <laughs> Where are you? I want to get a session. Next day he replies on Monday, well, I'm in Kissimmee. On Wednesday, a friend of mine, he goes, I'm going to Florida. I have an extra seat on the, on the plane. I'm like, this is meant to happen. And here we are, like less than a week later, in Kissimmee, about to hit some arms. Mr. Arms himself. There it is. So, let's get it. Let me tell you how I look. I like to, use, I like to call Actually, when I'm training biceps, I like to use a ramp up type version to get my, to turn the engines on, right? Okay. I do what I call rack running. Okay. I do rack running as a technique using as lowest denominator of weights from a dumbbell standpoint okay. to as high as denominations that I can go, whatever exercise I'm doing. Okay. For example, you and I will basically start with this dumbbell rack over here. Okay. And we're going to run eight reps on each one of the sets, each one of the dominant of the weight. What you pick you up to whatever you're gonna be. Mm -hmm. Once you get to that point, we break it, come back down the ladder. Got it. Okay, this is my initial turning on, getting your body ready to start. Sure. Training. 
All right. So what are we doing at the end? We're stimulating already at a micro speed because I do not like that force uh, resistance. Yeah. I'm going to take my time, build up incremental resistance, slow and slow, just to get the muscle utilizing for a certain frequency mm -hmm. and just keep it consistent. Are you so, big on muscle contraction? Very big. Okay. Isometric contraction. I like to define all three. Not just contraction, contraction, connection as well. Mind muscle. Mind muscle, baby. Yes. It starts there. So with my whole bicep training principle and my Vince Taylor grips, yes. as I will show you. Yeah. Those grips right. are designed for that purpose. It's like, I want you to rethink. What I got you doing with my grips because they're designed for lightweight resistance. And that thing is to increase isolation, it's increased intensity and stimulation. You have to mentally get that muscle ready to do what it's going to do from being under physical stress. So what I like to do is what I call a ghost set. When you're doing my arm training, you need to you need to flex the bicep first before Look you at move. That. without a pump. <laughs> <laughs> Been python. This, this is old he's, man. He's armed. This is old man muscle. Yeah. I haven't trained in how long, man, about eight, they, nine. I, months. I don't understand Jeez. how you don't get pulled over because like, we saw so much police around here, and you're walking around armed like this. <laughs> Come on, bro. Come on, <laughs> that man. That used to be. <laughs> That used to be. You still is? Dude, there's some brothers in here, boy. I'm like, these young boys in here, because I'm like 68 years old. Yeah. See? I'm an old man. These guys. Can you here. believe this? <laughs> Can you believe the 68? <laughs> these guys got size, man. He still got some youth for it. You need to set the stage first with any muscle. Mm -hmm. Let's mind contract the muscle first, especially biceps. First thing I ask people to do is contract the bicep. We're not lifting weights anymore. I want you to pull the resistance, control resistance into a certain fourth of the bicep. Mm -hmm. That's where those grips come into play. Because mm -hmm. normally you got a full grip, you got a full belly muscle, all you've done is pulling resistance into it. But my grips, design what they are from the concept that I created, putting between the finger folds, isolating the biceps, which I call sections, right? Mm -hmm. So when I know when I got that ball between these two fingers, I can isolate this portion of my bicep, knowing I'm training from middle mm -hmm. to outer. I put it down the center portion of my finger here. Mm. I'm coming straight down the middle. You feel the resistance? Yeah, yeah, the yeah. Shift. Put it here. You feel the one out ahead. So when I'm looking at this, thinking, let me design a way to increase growth in my bicep naturally, first of all, without trying to force that effort by using a lot of resistance. Mm -hmm. So a lighter weight, isolating that area, treating this whole bicep mm -hmm. into sections. So now I'm just working in one little section. I'm using a light weight and I get maximum contraction, Total. slow contraction. Now people and don't control. know oh. about using training they think it's one big chunk of muscle there's outer bicep yeah, thank you. there is inner bicep there's also middle part of the bicep you're, you're like slicing it up but we don't get that because we yeah. get this grip bingo get yeah. that, that, bar, that barbell grip you get full activation forearm activations everything is power movement love it so then we look at it and say well how do i divide that and being able to find that that avenue but using these two fingers and going up to zones and mentally going into this portion of the belly, it's like, well, hell, I have the transportation mode now. Yep. These grips, alignment, slow weight, more concentration, max. You got, you got to see. Let's see it, bro. You, you got to see. I cannot wait. this. The legendary Vince Taylor grips, baby. All right. Taylor made. Taylor made. So I got in this position here. I'm thinking, all right, if I curl up with this here, again, flex the bicep. Yes. Let's set everything up. This alignment is going to give me contraction uh, control in this area alone. Right. So when I'm curling back, again, I'm not lifting weights anymore. Contract it, just pull resistance into this already contracted muscle. Bingo. Only difference of utilizing these yes. are the fact you have to create the finger grip. Mm -hmm. You need this. You got to do that. Yes. Once you do that, you've got this. Yeah. Anything outside that comes from what you want to do with it, oh. right? Because I increase by utilizing these, I increase now range of motion movements, right? Yes. Because using this versus those joints, oh. it's like, this is like a whole joint. That ball is like a new joint on my arm. And this is for people who want to build a bicep. Because all you're yes. doing is you're working the fibers. You're working in the meat of the bicep. I just came up with a slogan for you. Make 
advice is great again. To me, MVGA, boom. We change the speed of it, and we change the intensity of it. And we got you mentally involved in it. There is no rush. None. And that, the cable it makes you feel every part of the. That's it. You set your move. Traction, you pull up in and out. And now you're in tune with that. So this is what you should be looking for when you train in bicep. It's like oh, wait. the fiber is attached directly to the metal. Twelve o'clock, yeah. three o'clock, six o'clock. If I'm in a six o'clock position, my mind automatically tells me when I'm contracting, I'm isolating my bicep. Uh, six o'clock, three o'clock, twelve o'clock. Okay, to match my load here. I'm working and mentally contracting everything down low. Make Robbie man, you keep this up. <laughs> <laughs> and the more I pump it, the oh. more I'm in there. I'm connected. <laughs> I'm imagining how my muscle fiber extends into a metal fiber. And it's just one, one, one fiber. It's just one That's fiber. It. Grab the same thing overhand. Mm. This position right here now. You're locked in. We're training out ahead of the tricep. But this Got position it. here, lock in up front and just give it a roll. Tell you. Insane. Woo. Now you get it in there. I never, I never knew I even had that in there. But I, I was like, wow. I think Nuts. as I keep going with this thing, keep training with this, I'll start seeing some new stuff. You will. Growing. I'll bet you I don't have a million bucks, but I'll bet you a million bucks. Where's the camera? <laughs> You'll never injure yourself training like this. Exactly. And here's the Ever. key. Here's the key. You got a lot of people with tendonitis. What is tendonitis? The old flexation up is out and out of this freaking form. You get that burning sensation back here. Why? Mm -hmm. Because as soon as you activate that form Hold on. with the barbell, bingo. But it's almost like a rehab and building at the same time. Are you Do I need kidding to say me? More? Nothing. Yeah. Amen. Do I need to yeah. say more? I think the Sunday sermon's over. And it's a Saturday. <laughs> I'm a head of the head of the ground, bro. <laughs> Functionality, brother. Fingertip grip. I want you to do exactly the same exercise we just did. Let's just use these now. I'm looking at my arms, I'm like, this is like Photoshop. I'm telling you. <laughs> No more lifting, change the concept. <laughs> Crazy arm pump, I love it. Any specific things that you do, like let's say for a peak, or we just did that. Angle. Angle. 12 o'clock, got it, 3 o'clock. Think, think, I think elevator, or I think clock. So I'm training any muscle. I'm going on the top floor of my elevator, so I'm moving mm -hmm. my grips. I'm at my 12 o'clock position. I'm, on, I'm in the top floor. Got it. So I'm at three o'clock, second floor. Got it. I'm downstairs now, coming upstairs in the basement up, first and second floor. So basically you sectionize the bicep and the tricep. Yes. Even though bicep is two heads, you split it in three. Because the tricep three. training. It becomes what you make it. You make it, exactly. <laughs> so you split it in three areas, outer, inner. That's it. Right, and That's middle. It. And exactly you can also right. go forward, middle, up. Now you're working in. Wow. We're working the muscle. We found a way to work certain sections of the muscle. You can train like upper, outer part of your bicep, which is insane. And the people shape. are like, there's just bicep. No, there is. That's so it. for a beautiful shaped bicep. You want to train all ankles. You got to be like a surgeon, bro. So, and you can't get the them body moving. Yeah, no. Because all you get is one movement. You get one shape. That's it. One you shape in a million reps. Yeah. Because everybody's doing the same thing. You want to train like a sculptor, chisels, uh, Michelangelo's David. 
Just tail and me. Tail and me. <laughs> tail and me. <laughs>
How do you keep the condition, bro? Man. Is it genetics? It's got to be. Or you? Yeah. It's so, got to be. Because I'm not a big eater. Okay. I'm not a, what they call a clean eater. Never yeah. was, never will be. Yeah. <laughs> My whole motto was, you know, anything about Vince Taylor, Coca-Cola, red meat, and ketchup. Oh, man. My, my and, and not the Coke Burger Zero. King, no, we don't do that you, zero. You want, he no, wants no, no, no. all, the, all the sugar. He wants all, all the... the but I've been drinking Coca Cola all my life. So when I got into bodybuilding, we're training and everything. Yeah. The question became what do you eat? What do you drink? Proteins. It's tail. I eat three meals a day. Yeah. Burger King. Okay. I don't see the can't drink of nature here. Burger King and Coke. Burger King. Coca Cola, red meat, and ketchup. You know anything about Vince Taylor? Coca Cola. <laughs> don't use the Coke carb. Man. It doesn't work for everybody. They get that Coca Cola. <laughs> Tell them the Coca Cola gets you 24 titles, <laughs> gets you five masters, gets you two honor classes. In your dreams. I can't even show these things. <laughs> <laughs> workout number one done. Now we're off to Miami for workout number two. Catch you in Miami. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> this is hey man we gotta we did the pre-workout we did the intro workout which is inside here we have a few gulps left and now we're doing this is uh protein isolate zero carb zero sugar 30 grams of protein and this is how we do it in the parking lot i brought in a ziploc bag <laughs> trying to get it all in without spilling it out but uh yeah this is how we get it done so sharing my nutrition secrets with you you gotta get the nutrition in, no matter what. We're losing a few grams of protein here, but you know what? We'll make it up in LA. I think that's about enough. And uh, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna shake it up. And this is it. This is your perfect post-workout. 30 grams of protein and a banana. Insulin spike, open the cells, shove this protein inside the muscle cell and start the repair right away as we're driving to Miami. So, cheers. All right, guys, we're here. Miami Beach by the ocean. Beautiful buildings behind us and beautiful weather all around us. We're about to hop on the plane in an hour and uh, we're gonna get a little workout, get our blood flowing because it's gonna be a nice four to five hour flight back to LA. So this is what I do before I board the plane. It's my workout. Let's do it. That's the workout guys. You can make it intense without no breaks, just alternate the muscle groups. Or if you have time, you don't have a plane waiting for you, put 30 to 60 seconds breaks in between the sets and then go to your place because you don't have a plane, right? Either way, plane or no plane, you wanna make it intense, no rest, just keep rolling through it. If you need rest, use the rest 30 to 60. Try this workout, enjoy it, let me know how it feels. I gotta go catch my plane later.